I love these things so much. I have three of them and I'm looking to probably get a fourth and maybe even a fifth. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raven. I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. But on my channel, I do fashion hauls, outfit inspiration, luxury on a budget, and press on nail reviews. In this video, I'm giving you five wardrobe tools that you need in your home to make your clothing last longer. We all make an investment when we shop for our clothing, whether you spent $5 on it or $5,000, you spent your hard on money. So you really wanna make sure that it lasts. As a stylist, I deal with clothing every single day. And I found that these tools have really extended the lifetime of a lot of my clothing. And when I mean that they extended the lifetime of my clothing, it means that they looked newer for longer. One, it helps with keeping the colors brighter for longer. Two, these will also help with the overall appearance of your clothing so they don't look worn or get that pilling on them that we've all seen on sweaters and other knit materials. I'll be sure to link everything that I mentioned in this video in the description box below. So with that being said, let's get into these tools. First up is a drying rack. When I started using a drying rack, it really transformed how long my clothes look new for. Heat from clothes dryers can contribute to the wear and tear on fabric, causing them to break down more quickly. Drying racks help you air dry your clothes, especially inside, which is more gentler on fabrics and can extend the lifespan of your clothes. I literally air dry everything that I wear outside of the house, but these are also perfect for delicate fabrics such as silks, lace, and wool. Air drying also helps to preserve the shape of your fabrics so that it doesn't shrink them or in some cases stretch them out. With air drying, I have the ability to kind of stretch out the fabrics when I need to. Sometimes the arms are just a little too short and I need them to be a little bit longer. In the wet state, the fabric is more like malleable to stretching and bending and things like that. So I'm able to air dry it in the state that it's laying and it doesn't shrink back as much as it would in the dryer. When I tell you that I love these drying racks, First of all, they have three tiers where you can set up your clothes on. They are like drying your clothes flat, except for they're open on both sides. So you get air from both sides, which help your clothes dry a lot faster. Normally my clothes dry overnight. Also, I love these things so much. I have three of them and I'm looking to probably get a fourth and maybe even a fifth. Next up is a steamer. Steamers are way more gentler on your clothes than an iron is. You don't run the risk of scorching or burning any of your clothing. Sometimes you can also iron your clothes and it creates like a little sheen to it because it is burning the fabric, which you don't necessarily want. It also flattens some of the fabrics that you may want to be a little bit more fluffier or less stiff. Ironing is really only great if you're looking to starch your clothes and have a very structured look to them. Steaming is so much faster as well. You don't need an ironing board. You really just need a place to hang up the piece of clothing and it works so much better. And steamers are great for almost any type of fabric minus a leather or suede. So you can use a steamer on gentle fabrics such as silks, chiffons, and wools, or you can even use them on heavier fabrics such as denim and pure cotton. It really relaxes the fabrics and you don't run the risk of putting any extra pleats or creases into your clothing that you necessarily did not want. I use a steamer on every single set that I'm on for work and I use it almost every day in my household. The good thing about this steamer is it does have a metal plate where the steam comes out so it kind of presses your clothing at the same time as steaming it but it does not get as hot as an iron does so you don't run that risk of burning or scorching any of your clothes. The other good thing about this particular steamer is that it comes with levels so if you just need a little bit of steam to come out so lighter fabrics such as those silks and chiffons you can put it on a lower setting and then there's a higher setting for sturdier fabrics that may need a little extra push. Lastly, a steamer is great because it takes a lot less time to heat up than an iron does. Next up is a lint shaper. First of all, not all lint shavers are built the same, but this one here is actually really, really good and has renewed the life of a lot of my sweaters. Essentially what a lint shaver does is it shaves off the pilling that can happen with your sweaters. So when you get those little, little balls of fabric on top of your fabric that you can't, it's not like lint, that you actually have to like pull off. That's what a lint shaver does. You just run it across and it just zips it off, honey, okay? I love these things to death. Also, with this one, it comes with three different levels. You have a low, a medium, and a high speed. 
I'm normally on the high speed because I want them to cut off all that little pilling very quickly. But for more delicate or thinner fabrics, you definitely wanna be on the lower setting. You wanna be very careful with your lint shaver because you can run the risk of cutting any of your fabrics because it is cutting that pilling off. So you wanna make sure that you're using the right setting for the fabric that you're actually trying to take the pilling off. Next up is wash bags. Wash bags are essential for your laundry routine, especially if you do any delicate swimwear or even shoes. Anything that you don't want rubbing against the other items in your load, that's what you use laundry bags for. I am obsessed with these things in almost every single load of laundry. I have a laundry bag in them for whatever it might be. Also, this is great for bras because when your straps get all wrapped around everything else in your laundry, this prevents that from happening. All of my swimwear, pretty much anything that says hand wash, I throw it in one of these bags and put it in the washing machine. It has saved me so much time and has saved the life of the clothing. And again, it doesn't have that pilling from the fabrics or the more delicate fabrics rubbing against other fabrics in the laundry. These bags are super gentle. The soap, everything gets right through them. So you don't run the risk of having any kind of issues of your clothes not getting clean or anything like that. I love this set because it comes in three different sizes. I think I'm gonna get me like another set of this set. And wash bags come in a ton of different ways. I have one that's more like a triangular shape that has compartments in it for different underwear and things. Sometimes I'll put my bras in there if I wanna keep them individually separated but they come in so many different shapes, sizes, and forms that you literally can find one that works for you. Next up are moisture catchers. If you don't get anything else on this list, get a moisture catcher. You really should get everything on this list, but moisture catchers really save your clothes. If you've ever heard of dry rot, this is what prevents that. Dry rot is so crazy because it's actually the opposite. It's when you get too much moisture in your leather goods so this is perfect for places where you have shoes stored, where you have purses stored, anything that's leather, jackets, things like that can get, get dry rot. I have this in every closet space in my house. All of my closets, all of my bigger closets have some form of a moisture catcher in them. So they have some that you can just hang right into your closet. I don't find those to be the best because they're not like super, super sturdy to just be going back and forth in your closet. If you have a hook or something in your closet, you can just hang it, that's great. But it's it's weird, like the plastic part that's like the hanger part doesn't fully attach to the bag part all the way. So sometimes it comes off, it was a hassle. So now I have these tub moisture catchers, which I'm obsessed with. They're so good. This one pictured here is from a closet in my actual bedroom. It has caught so much moisture from the air. This is only from a couple of months, guys. That is how much moisture is in your house. And imagine all of that moisture seeping into your clothing and your shoes and really just destroying it. So if you want to save them, get some moisture catchers. Moisture catchers are like those, you know, those silica bags that you get that you kind of throw away from your shoe box. This is a bigger version of that. So it starts off with these like crystals in it. And the crystals, I guess, attract the moisture pulls it down from the air and traps it at the bottom of this thing. I don't know the science, y'all, okay? But that's what happens. And once the moisture is trapped in there, it doesn't escape again. Clearly, you see all this water in here. But for whatever reason, it's just like a mouse trap for moisture and it traps it in there and does not let it go. This is a bonus. It's not a tool, but it is a tip. Wash and dry everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. If you don't want to do everything, at least the clothes that you wear out of the house, because we all have that. We have our house clothes and we have our out of the house clothes, okay? The ones that you wear outside, wash and dry them on delicate. The spin cycle is a lot more gentler on your clothes, so there's not as much friction of them rubbing against each other. The water isn't as extreme. It's very like warm water for your clothing. And even with the dryer, it's on a very low setting, so it doesn't damage your clothes as much. And of course, it extends the lifespan of your clothing. I wash and dry everything on delicate. The only things that I do not dry are the clothes that I wear outside of the house, and those things go on my drying racks. I've actually found that my clothes are a lot softer after doing this, and it really just, like, 
I don't know, they're just better after washing and drying them on gentle instead of the high heat and the high spin cycle, the high super hot water. Try it out. Let me know if you like it, but I promise you, you're going to love it. That is it, guys. Those are my five wardrobe tool essentials plus one bonus tip. I hope this was helpful for y'all. These are things that I do in my everyday life and with my laundry routine. So I really hope that these help you out. Be sure to comment down below what your favorite tool was from this video. And have you ever tried any of these things before? I'll be sure to link everything that I mentioned in this video in the description box below. And since you've made it this far, you might as well join the tribe of baddies on a budget, honey, and hit that subscribe button and that notification notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time I post a new video. And you might as well follow me on IG and TikTok. Until next time, y'all, watch this video that was picked specifically for you.